What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's review, we have a wireless 5G 1080p NVR security camera kit by Nufebs. So gone are the days when we had to run wires like everywhere leading back to our DVRs and security cameras that were limited to 480p and 720p resolutions, sometimes making it difficult to identify faces and number plates. With this new wireless security camera system, it eliminates this issue. It delivers much higher recording quality and it comes with smart detection and intruder deterrent features. So in this video, we take a look at the quality of the equipment, how to set it up, its smart detection and deterrent features, and of course, its 1080p recording quality. So stay tuned, that's right after this. And welcome back. So in the box, you get the NVR unit itself, four wireless cameras, four 12 volts, one amp power adapters for the cameras, four external antennas, one 12 volts, two amp DC power adapter for the NVR, four packs of wall plugs and screws, a wired optical mouse, one LAN cable, a warranty card, and a user manual. For design of the NVR, it comes with a metal housing with LEDs to indicate when it's recording, if an alarm has been triggered, and its power status to the front. For input-output ports, it comes with one HDMI output, one VGA port, one audio output headphone jack, one Ethernet LAN port, two USB 2.0 port, its DC power socket, and two external antennas. Each security camera is made of plastic and at the front, it has a 1080p 2 megapixel camera, it has 4 LED spotlights, a built-in microphone, a speaker for the intercom feature, and a motion and night vision sensor. For installing in any configuration, it comes with a 360 degrees swivel feature with a tightening wheel. It also has a 180 degrees tilt feature with a tightening bolt to secure it in your desired position. For maximum reception, it comes with a gold-plated connector for an external antenna. The base of the camera comes with three holes for screwing down to wood, concrete and even metal surfaces. There is a cutout to prevent the power cable from being squeezed when screwed down to a surface and it has a foam padding to absorb vibration. And once you have installed your cameras, you simply plug in the power adapter. So when you start the NVR for the first time, all four cameras will begin automatically connecting in the background while you complete a first startup wizard. The wizard includes two to three layers of security to prevent hacking or remotely accessing your NVR. By the time you have completed the wizard, all four cameras will be up and running. Before exiting the wizard, you'll be prompted to install the remote control app by scanning the QR code on the screen, and finally the option to set the display resolution of the monitor connected to its HDMI port. Please note, this is not the display settings for the cameras. So the NVR and its cameras both have independent firmware you can update separately, and I will show how you do this in just a moment. This model does not support connecting to the internet via Wi-Fi, so you would have to connect via LAN cable to gain access. Its settings and firmware will be a bit challenging for some users, as there are many complicated settings, metrics and network settings that are a bit much even for me. So if you like lots of features where you can tweak a lot of your settings, then you would enjoy this NVR. However, before you begin adjusting or changing features, you should know that the Opticon mouse it comes with is very cheap and makes it difficult to navigate the interface. So I recommend that you ditch the Opticon mouse and use a more high quality one, wired or wireless. It makes the navigation experience much better. So as to not complicate the video, I will focus on the features that matter the most to the average user and I will first start with adjusting the display and recording features on each camera. There are some features that can be adjusted directly on the NVR and there are some that can only be accessed on the mobile app. On any camera, right click for the pop-up menu and select IPC parameters. In this menu, you can switch between each camera without exiting the setting, and all changes are saved upon pressing the OK button. 
Under image settings, as mentioned, this is where it starts to get a bit tech savvy. First, you have color adjustments for when the infrared LED is on and when it's turned off. Just below that, you have daylight and nighttime modes. This is where you can switch between the various infrared modes, full color and smart alert modes. You have three general color presets for capturing surveillance. Style number one tones down the color a bit and increases brightness and contrast. Style number two is your default color style. And style number three increases its color depth. The next option is WDR, which stands for Wide Dynamic Range, and it's a technology that improves a camera's image quality under high contrast and poorly lit conditions, where it enables the camera to capture details clearly in both the poorly and strongly illuminated areas of the video. Next, you have the option to select between Fluency Preferred or Quality Preferred. This is sort of the equivalent of changing the resolution of each camera, where fluency will ensure seamless capture performance by selecting a lower resolution, and quality would capture at the highest resolution with the most details. However, it uses more storage space and hardware resources and can sometimes result in latency between what's actually happening in real time and what's being displayed on the monitor. Under advanced, there are even more settings. However, I suggest, unless you really need to change any of these settings or you know exactly what you are doing, you should leave these settings as they are. There is an easier way to change its basic color settings and that's by right clicking on any camera and selecting color settings. To the top, you will see the camera's channel number and its basic color and brightness adjustments. However, I have been adjusting these parameters for some time and they don't seem to change the display at all. The next most used feature for the standard user is the playback feature. So right click anywhere on the screen and select playback. Again, in this section, there are many playback options to choose from, but the most commonly used ones would be the common playback and the synchronized playback. Common playback allows you to playback footage where you can change the position of the timeline individually, allowing individual playback of each channel on the screen at the same time. Synchronize the playback will change the timeline of all channels at the same time. Each playback is recorded with audio, so the synchronize the playback can sound noisy when all channels are playing at the same time. To stop the noise or to listen to audio from a particular camera, simply click on a particular channel during the playback and the audio will be played from that particular camera only. You have options to select how many channels you want for the playback, the period of the playback, and the date. To zoom or to expand the timeline, simply use the mouse wheel while hovering the cursor over the timeline, and depending on what you set the cameras to detect, it will be indicated on the timeline with different colors. If there is an event or period on the timeline you would like to back up on a flash drive or external storage, simply set the cursor on the timeline where you would like to start your clip, then click the scissors icon to set the starting point. Then press the play button or navigate further down the timeline and click or pause the footage to set the end position, and click the scissors icon again to end the clip. Then, to back up your recording, click the floppy disk icon and it will bring up a browser window to select which drive or folder to save to from devices connected to its USB port. The good thing about this NVR is that it comes with two USB ports, so you don't need to unplug your mouse and insert a flash drive or external hard drive on a timer as seen in other models. With that said, an issue I see plaguing most NVRs is that they can only read up to 32GB flash drives. 
The third most used feature is accessing and monitoring your security camera on your mobile phone while away from your home. With this camera system, not only can you remotely monitor your cameras, but listen to live audio, you can change its color and recording settings, speak to persons using its two-way intercom feature, you can enable alarms and spotlight feature, and you can even update the camera's firmware. To install the app, simply move the cursor to the top of the screen and a scan code will appear. Then scan the code and it will take you directly to the app on the Play Store. The name of the app is XMI Pro and to set it up for security reasons, you first have to create an account, then you have to scan the code on the screen again and enter the username and password you created on the NVR. For each camera, to use its intercom feature, press the microphone button, then press cam, then press on hold to speak to persons within the vicinity of that camera. It operates much like a CB radio, where in order to communicate with a person, you have to release the microphone and press and hold it again to communicate. If you select the VCR, it will output audio through the monitor's speaker and not the camera. And if you select the BC, which stands for broadcast, your voice will be transmitted over all cameras at once. This can come in handy when trying to find pets such as dogs around the yard or kids playing outside and cannot hear when you call out to them from inside. Tapping on the speaker button enables or disables the live audio feature. This allows you to listen live to each camera. The record button and the snapshot button allow you to record or take snapshots of a particular camera and save the recording or snapshot to your phone's internal storage. In the settings area, you have video management for each camera where you can change the resolution from 720p to 1080p, adjust its frame rate and display quality. You can adjust its recording configuration, its color and orientation, and its day and night modes. You have intelligent alarm settings. You can reset the camera, reset each camera to factory default settings, you can update the firmware for each camera but individually and you have an about section. So the final feature I believe would be of interest to all users is its intelligent alarm system. If you enable allow notifications, the email address you use to create your account during the first startup wizard will receive push email notifications whenever an event is detected by its intelligent alarm system. If you open the human detection feature and enable it, it opens up all its alarm features. Under Alarm Sound, you can enable or disable an alarm to be played when it detects a humanoid object. You can choose from a selection of presets, or you can record your own voice or create audio effects and custom load it as an alarm. Also, as part of its alarm system, it has a flashing spotlight feature. However, it does not work in sync with the audio alarm system. It only works when you set the display mode to full light mode. When in this mode, the audio alarm system is disabled. So viewers, that's all for this review, and I only covered the basics like I said, as there are lots of other settings that I did not cover in the video. So this security camera is currently being sold at $170 down from $190 with an additional $20 off coupon just in time for the Amazon Prime Day sales event. So to take advantage, see the link in the description below this video. Thanks for watching, as always give this video the thumbs up to show some support. If you would like to purchase this security camera system, then leave me a tip by using my link in the description to purchase. 
If you are new to my channel, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notifications bell to receive notifications as to when I release new videos or decide to do a giveaway. I appreciate you taking the time to watch my video, stay tuned and see you in the next one.